It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. Hey guys, Tyler here. Before I start this video, it's very important for me to say that I do in fact believe in climate change. Yes, I do in fact believe that the waters are rising up. I do in fact believe that factories and cars do in fact contribute to, of course, hotter water. So yes, I do in fact believe in climate change. I do not deny that climate change exists. So please guys, before you watch this video, do not accuse me of something that I'm not. There's a big difference between, of course, believing in climate change and thinking that the climate change movement is cringy. That said, for the last few days, I saw nothing but cringe from the climate change movement that I want to share with you guys about it. It's just so cringy. More recently, a bunch of students across the country decided to protest against climate change by skipping class and setting up their own website with their goals. Naturally, since I'm curious about this kind of stuff, I decided to go to the website and oh my god, one of the listings for that website is actually reparations. They actually put reparations as the same category as climate change. I'm just kind of curious, just what in the hell does reparations, something about giving money to black people, have to do with climate change? Like one is about money, the other is about, of course, the environment. So how old are the two things connected? Speaking about kids, it's just so cringy, guys. So, so cringe to see the kids on stage talking about climate change. Because obviously, kids are much more wiser than adults and obviously can make such serious decisions. I just don't know if they're going to do anything. And I just, I'm so concerned with the fact that if they're not going to change anything, then what's going to happen to humankind? What's going to happen to our... What's going to happen to the whole world if, if no one does anything? Uh, I'm 19 years old and like so many people my age, I feel really visceral anxiety about climate change every day. And we are not here to talk about our sacrifices and our doom and gloom and not existing. We are here to create! Yeah! This is all wrong. I shouldn't be up here. I should be back in school, on the other side of the ocean. Yet, you all come to us young people for hope. How dare you? You have stolen my dreams and my childhood with your empty words. And yet, I'm one of the lucky ones. Look guys, I have no doubts in my mind that these kids have good intentions. However, I don't like the fact that kids are being used to push an agenda. Like for example, religions and ideologies and movements always rely on kids to push their ideas. And when you criticize the ideas, they basically deflect the ideas against you. They'll say stuff like, oh my god, you're criticizing a kid, so that's why you cannot criticize my ideology or something like that. And so basically, they use kids as a shield to deflect any criticism against them. Also, I don't like the fact that these kids are being scared shitless. Like, oh my god, I'm gonna die because of climate change. Like, dude, just calm down. Just focus on your childhood. Stop focusing on climate change. Just worry about having fun. Like, oh my god, guys, just... Okay, I know it's important to know about climate change, but please, calm down. Don't put this kind of stuff onto kids that's thinking that they're gonna die soon. Like, come on, calm down. One final thing I want to bring up is also the fact that there was a guy who was an activist who was twerking for climate change. Oh yeah! I'm gonna shake my ass! Just shake, 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 shake my ass, shake my ass to save the entire planet. Because basically, shaking my ass would actually help society out from climate change. Also, the fact that you guys put litter and confetti on the ground definitely gonna help you guys in the long run to fight against climate change. Just Oh my god, 
this whole entire movie, this whole entire like movement I've seen so far, uh, the climate change stuff is just so cringy. Like, listen, guys, it's important to fight against climate change. It's important to express concern about climate change. But the way that you guys are doing it is like the most shittiest, most cringiest thing I could possibly imagine. Like, stop putting politics into climate change. Stop putting social justice into climate change. Stop twerking for climate change. Just fight the issue. And stop using kids as pawns. Oh my god. Is it really that hard to actually, you know, do it in a sane way? But what do you guys think? Tell me in the comment section down below. And I'll talk to you guys next time. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. He's your only black friend, so he's your best black friend. I wouldn't trade him for another black friend. Because black friends are rare, as you should be aware. He smiles like Richard Pryor, so just sit and stare. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler.